Good morning. It is about 7.22 in the morning on uh, Monday, August 15th, 2016. Um, I am here near the subway cave um, trailhead to the campground, I think, in Lassen National Forest. Um, I have actually slept right here by um, <laughs> this road and um, these are uh, really mainly because of this, I don't know if you could see it, there's a drinking fountain right there. And um, I guess it's a 29 mile stretch before water. Um, and I wanted to have complete and full access to it last night and this morning to have uh, breakfast, brush my teeth, do things like that. Um, fill up as much as I can before uh, starting the hike for the day. This is a half mile off trail, which <clears throat> isn't exciting, but, and uh, come to find out after closer inspection of the maps, there actually is water in about eight miles. I think it's just a really steep um, vertical descent to get to it. And it's a little bit of a ways off trail, but no matter, um, I can just, flow through that 29 miles today and um, get to camp. I'm trying to shoot for 30s anyway. Um, yesterday was pretty cool. Um, I really enjoyed uh, my stay, or the time I spent at Old Station. Um, they were really kind. I decided to fully resupply there so I don't have to go into town. So I'm skipping Bernie just like I skipped Chester. And I think that's a really smart idea. I'm pleased with my choice. Um, I was able to get all vegan food. Um, I just like the top ramen without the packets. Um, some wheat bread, some peanut butter, um, <laughs> some corn grits, which I thought would make a good breakfast. And <laughs> I can still feel it in my teeth. It's actually quite gritty. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, some mixed nuts, um, and from the hiker box before in uh, Drake's bed, I was able to get two protein bars, which will help uh, a lot. So um, I think I'm set to make it there. Uh, it's about 123 miles away, I want to say. Um, so I'm hoping to make it there in just over four days. That would be awesome. And maybe again, skip town. And uh, there's a little community called Castella, I believe. Um, this is just two miles off of the trail. And if I can, there's a little market. If I can resupply there again, then I can make it. So my first next like real town that I go to is uh, Ashland in Oregon. So, um, oh, and the other thing, when I was in uh, the old station, I was charging all my stuff, and uh, this guy, it's like an RV park, and this guy was telling me, you know, are you going to shower while you're here? I think there's the, you know, the ladies showers right over there, and I think they might have the code on the little paper they leave for late check-ins on the bulletin, and I checked, and they did, and I was able to... Uh, shower hot shower which was very nice um so yeah um i'm just gonna keep on trucking and uh skip town whenever i can and uh keep shooting for those 30 mile days 25 bare minimum and i will make it and uh all right so cheers and um uh, here's to this waterless stretch i'll let you know how it goes okay ciao like three, 3.25 in the afternoon. I've only traveled like 13 miles from where I camped last night. Um, I got a little bit of a late start plus um, I got a little turned around. It was um a trail about half a mile from the PCT that I had to go to to get water. Um, and then next water 
It's 29 miles from where I camped last night, so that leaves about 17 more trail miles before I am there. Uh, the only problem is, it is ridiculously hot. I'm not sure how hot, but it's hot and barren and dry. Um, you can't really, I don't know, it's like the desert all over again. I found this little shade area right now and um, I actually was in another shade spot not more than an hour and a half ago and uh, was there for roughly an hour um, thinking, oh, well, I'll just wait out the one o'clock to two o'clock hour and that's one of the hottest and um get going i may have waited longer but the sun does move positions and um the west was uh a direction that put me in uh dark sunlight basically so um yeah it started to get become a hot spot um anyway uh, there was a water cache, I think. I passed an empty water bottles, but because I am so far behind the pack, I don't think that there will be any coming up or, um, yeah, that those are still stocked. So, 17 more miles. I have roughly about three liters of water, maybe less. One liter is, like hot like can make a cup of tea hot because it's on the outside of my pack um so yeah i'm thinking i might wait it out till nightfall at this point and uh continue on um in the dark um six seven eight i might finish like between midnight and three in the morning, but um, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I think this is one of the bigger waterless stretches and it's just really freaking hot. Like I'm parched just sitting here. So I really think I might consume all of my water in the next seven to eight hours if I just keep walking. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Talk to you later. Bye.